Okay, so this is my first attempt at a recording, so pardon me if I stumble or stutter, kind of like I just did. So, I'll just read the article in case nobody's seen it yet or heard it. WWE has fined Lars Sullivan $100,000 and has required him to complete a sensitivity training course for his past remarks on a bodybuilding website form. Sullivan's punishment was confirmed in a statement issued to Forbes, with the company saying they will also set up meetings with Sullivan, a.k.a. Dylan Miley, and other groups to further discuss about the power of your words in social media. <sighs> the post linked to two accounts used by Miley, a.k.a. Lars Sullivan, before, before his WWE career, let's remember that, before, were made between 2007 and 2013, six to 12 years ago. Keep that in mind. Miley's history on the forums has been brought up online in the past, most recently after a Reddit post summarized in LinkedIn, which got more attention from the pro wrestling community, which is why Lars was hyped up, hyped up, hyped up. Nothing happened. They kept quiet. This kind of died down. Then Lars was debuted, and now that he's debuted, they're making a big deal about this yet again. Big E and Kalisto both addressed the allegations on their respective Twitter accounts. Candy Giant Mars Wrigley commented on the situation. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Lars Sullivan has since apologized for it. And this is where it's a problem. Because this is WWE, mind you, who's had a long history of racism and homophobia. Okay, audio cut out. I'm too lazy to edit it. As I was saying, WWE, with their long, outstanding history of homophobia, racism, stereotyping, you name it, they've done it. You name it. They'll probably do it eventually. Who knows? It's WWE. Their history speaks for itself. Take a look at, um, let's see, JTG and Shad, Crime Time. Two black men portrayed as gangsters, robbing people and all sorts of stuff in their vignettes, hyping up their debut. Let's take a look at one of the segments with John Cena vandalizing JBL's limousine. You can't tell me that's not stereotyping black people. <clears throat> Let's take a look at Billy and Chuck. Billy Gunn and Chuck Palumbo. When they were a tag team, they were portrayed as a gay couple. Um, th yeah, they were portrayed as a gay couple. Because I remember they were going to get like some like married or whatever, and that's when Three Minute Warning attacked them. I believe, if I remember correctly. Excuse me, this was a while ago. Just like these comments by Lars was. And they were managed by Rico, of all people. Um, Let's take a look at... Muhammad, Muhammad Hassan, Davari, Kenzo Suzuki, all portrayed as anti-Americans. They hated America. Everything they did was against this country. But that's fine. Because WWE did it. But if you do something before WWE, or outside of WWE, years and years ago... It's going to come back to haunt you, and WWE is going to be the biggest hypocrites that they've ever been. And they're going to fine you, or suspend you, or chastise you in front of everybody, and make you apologize for comments you probably regretted ever since you made them. It's stupid. It's the stupidest thing that WWE can do. They are the biggest, biggest hypocrites in, on the face of this planet. And once again, it gives me an error. As I was saying, look, take a look at Vince McMahon's hatred, rumored hatred for black people. Kofi Kingston's world champion, yes. But before that, there wasn't a world champion since Mark Henry in 2011. Before that, was Booker T in 2006. Before that was, I guess you can say The Rock, but nobody really counts him because Rock was part Simone as well. WWE has this long-standing history of racism, homophobia, stereotyping, Making fun of handicapped people, making fun of little people like Hornswoggle and the little people court, if you remember that. Whether they like it or not, 
Just because Lars Sullivan has skeletons doesn't mean they don't. WWE needs to stop acting like they're perfect people. They're not a perfect company. They will never be a perfect company. And they need to stop chastising people for mistakes they made when they themselves used to do it all the time. They're PG now, but they weren't PG before. You can't sit there and call out somebody for mistakes they made 6 to 12 years ago when WWE did all sorts of stupid storylines and all sorts of stupid stunts for years and years and years involving the same type of stuff Lars Sullivan did or said. Everybody's made comments that they regret. Everybody's made mistakes that they will regret. Whether Lars does genuinely regret what he said is, lo is up to Lars Sullivan. Whether he apologized just to make himself look good, we don't know. Whether he was a f genuinely sympathetic about it, we don't know. But it's just the fact that you can't sit there and pretend you're perfect, because you're not. And WWE needs to get that through their head. They are not perfect. They've done so much for years and years before this PG era ever started. WWE needs to realize their mistakes that they've made in the past rather than calling out superstars like Lars Sullivan or any other superstar on their roster for mistakes they made in the past. I don't condone what Lars said, but what I have a problem with is the fact that he made them 6 to 12 years ago. Way before he ever decided to join WWE. Way before he ever decided to go from a bodybuilder to a wrestler, sports entertainer, superstar, whichever you prefer to call it nowadays. I also don't agree with the $100,000 fine, but whatever. Whether that's real or not, I don't know. I don't think it is because it's a bit outrageous. They could just be saying that. Who knows? The sensitivity training, I guess, makes sense, but you can't send somebody to sensitive sensitivity training for skeletons that they have when you have a closet overflowing of skeletons of your own. WWE are hypocrites. Everybody knows that. You can't sit here and act like you don't. And like I said, this is the first video I've ever made with my voice. So I know I screwed up. I know I stuttered, stumbled, what of it. I just had to make a video about this because I don't agree with how they're handling this. But I don't condone what he said. I just have never seen the point of doing something to somebody for comments they made years ago. If they were with the company when they made it, yes, I can see that. But again, WWE has done stuff in the past that are more outrageous than whatever Lars said or did. And they need to realize that and stop pretending they're perfect. So, that's all I got to say about it. Thank you for listening. Again, my first video that I made with commentary. Sorry if it sucked. I may do more of these. I doubt it. Who knows? We shall see. Hope you like it. Like and subscribe. And I may see you in another video. Peace.